Have you ever been frustrated wandering around the yellow rooms trying to figure out how to get out? I don't know about you, but I've literally spent hours in dozens of backrooms games wandering around the yellow rooms trying to figure out how to get out. Entities chasing me. Well, today that changes because this is Backrooms Break and this is unlike any other Backrooms game we have ever played. This time we're tearing down and breaking all of the Backrooms walls. We are going hard after the entities. Instead of fear and running, we're going to be using hammers and guns to take the fight to the Backrooms. I'm excited about this one. It looks super unique. So let's dive right in. Your game saves in the elevator. Okay. Although nowhere is going to be safe when Skilly gets a hold of some weapons. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, look at my hands. Yes. These are hands of destruction. Shift to run, space to jump. Pretty standard. Oh, my friend has met an end, but this is my hammer now. Oh, yeah. We could swing it. And then right mouse button throws it. Oh, dude. This is so... Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, we're breaking down barriers today. And then you could call it back. So in the description of the game, it literally calls this Thor's hammer. I need to find a key to get that gun. Okay, computer room is that way. Let's go to the computer room. I don't know that a computer room is going to have a key, but that's what we'll... I see something over here. What's over here? Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. Dude, this is so... Literally, like, all... What? Why did that break? Okay. Uh, this is so cool. You can break everything. Like, literally, all of the walls. Oh, there's an entity over there. Is it an entity? Let's go kill it. Let's go kill it right now. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, oh, he does damage, though. Yeah, die! No, you're going down. You fucking tentacle bitch. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. An achievement for first kill. Do I got rifle ammo from that guy? I've only got 62 health though. We do, I mean, we're not invincible. We just have a... Oh, their health is like... Oh, that is so cool. I like that the health meter is down around them. Like it's a circle around them, like highlighting them. That's pretty dope. Break the chair. <laughs> We don't have a we don't have a gash light. Okay. Well that's fine. We found some pistol ammo. We'll be okay. Here's the computer room I think it was telling me to find. We need a key though. I need a key. I need to get a gun. I need some, you know, you know. I gotta let the American out in me. You know what I mean? We gotta shoot some shit. I can literally break all the computers. I'm just pushing a chair around with me too. Uh, oh, I found an elevator card. Okay. I'm assuming that's how I save because the game told me elevators are safe. Good shit. What I really want, though, is I really want a gun. I can't see. It's so dark. So dark, dude. I'm just I'm just trying to get a lay of the land right now. Oh, 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 girl. That's where IGP saw the light when we played poly back rooms down in those things. Do these explode? Oh, my God, that is so satisfying. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, listen. In hindsight, that probably was not the best idea. <laughs> I realize now it was probably not the best idea. Almond water heals. Yeah. Typical back rooms. I like it. I like it. Good shit. Holy crap. I was standing way too close when I uh, when I knocked that down. This is so cathartic, guys. <gasps> How do, you, how do you already have health missing? There we go. What? Excuse me? Okay, no. Everything will die in here. Huh? Hello? <laughs> it's so much fun, dude. All right, we just need to find... We need to find the key. We want to get the pistol? We need to get the pistol. Yeah, we found the computer room. Okay, here we go. What's in here? Hello, knock, knock, motherfucker. More almond water, right? More almond water, I would assume. No rifle ammo. Uh, do, 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 do. Will you break, please? Can you give me something? No, it didn't give me anything. I guess fucked. Oh, the rifle. You need 300 ecto acids. What the hell is ecto acids, dude? Inquiring minds want to know. There's a beach ball. I gotta get to the beach ball. 
We need the beach ball, dude. Oh, dude, it goes so fast. This is so cool. Can we, can I hit it with the hammer? I can't hit it with the hammer. Oh, that's satisfying. All right, we saw that one different room area to progress, but I need, I need to get the rifle. I need to get the pistol. So I kind of don't want to like fully leave this area. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay. You know what? Die! Yeah, you, you, you invisible. They're turning into black goo. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of... Ugh. Oh my god. What is that abomination? Oh, he's shooting me. He's shooting me. He's shooting me. Okay, we are not ready for that yet. We don't have a gun. We don't have a gun. We don't have a gun. All right. We will get a gun and we will wreck shop on that asshole. But right now... We're not quite there yet. You know, you got to know your limits. <gasps> it's important. It's important to know your limits. Jesus, dude. All right. Ooh, ooh. They sound terrifying. That guy surprised the shit out of me around that corner, by the way. What is that? What did that do? Oh my God. He exploded. It did. We've already encountered like three different, no, four different entities. Uh, hello? Oh, that's a concrete wall? Oh, can I break through that, though? What is that? Plate of glass that fell? I can't break through this one? Oh, that's disappointing. There are boundaries. I mean, it is a game. It can't be infinitely break through a bull, 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 right? That would just be impossible. <laughs> I can't tell you how satisfying it is after playing the literally probably hundreds of hours of Backrooms games and being stuck and lost in the damn yellow rooms all the time. How satisfying this is. I don't know as a viewer if you guys are going to have the same experience having just watched it. But if you've played a lot of Backroom games and been stuck in these goddamn yellow rooms, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This is just like, oh, uh, this is the height of, of happiness right now. I have never, ever wanted. I think in fact, IGP and I have talked about in different videos, how we just like would try to smash th in real life. If we went in the back rooms, we would try to smash through them just to see what happened. Oh, low stamina. Oh, damn. It shows up on the hammer. That's pretty cool. So I wonder, am I super powered or is the hammer super powered? Did the hammer choose me? What is this? Almond water. Hey, I can heal. Do I need money? Oh, that took money. No, I want to save money so that I could get the rifle. No. Okay, elevator is this way. The beach ball is here. I hear another one of those fucks, though. Are they in here? I, I would like to kill you. Oh, hey, what's up, boo? Oh, you crawling bitch. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. I want to, like, fully explore everything. Since I can smash through everything, we can see all the limitations of the back rooms now. They don't have to own us. We own them, you know? I think I could just come into this game and sit around to do this. Just and just have fun. Shout. Shoot off their claws. Okay, shoot off their claws. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Uh, Weapon closet key. Okay. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> what are they doing? They're like worshiping some black monolith. Okay, there are too many in there. I need a gun first. And we just got the weapon closet key. So that should be the pistol, which I believe is back this way, right? I don't want to get myself in too much trouble here. We need some firepower, dude. Sniper ammo. How many guns are in this game, bro? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, Skilly Bash. Skilly Bash. Bash Skilly. Navigating into the back rooms is so like you find one little landmark and it's like, I've got this. Oh, that's the dead body where I got the hammer. Here's the pistol. We got it. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, we can switch. Oh, we have a pistol. We have a weapon. Oh, my God. I mean, we had a weapon before, but you know what I mean. Let's go back to the black monolith. We got this. These guys are going down. Actually, you know what? We're here. We have a pistol. What is out here? It feels like there's a good item, except for the void. All right, listen, I always die when we come to this room and any other backrooms game. So the objective today is to not die. Don't fall into the void. Ooh, 
Ooh, handgun laser attachment. T to open tactical menu. Buscuse me and L to turn on the laser. L to activate light slash laser. Laser, please. Ooh, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. We gotta give it back to those fucks who were who were worshiping this monolith so that I could shoot them all. I'm gonna end it. Whatever religion. Excuse me? Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? Oh my god, dude, it's so satisfying. It is so satisfying to be able to just bust a cap in the back rooms, man. Oh, dude, I'm so happy. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You don't know what hits you, do you? What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, the monolith is in here. Yeah. Oh, it is time to go to town. It is time to go to town. Hey, guess what, bitches? Guess what, bitches? I'm not locked, locked in, in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Yeah! Woo! That's right, motherfucker. You fucking blasted your tentacle off. Let's go, dude. I almost have enough for the rifle. We are not leaving this level until we get that rifle, dude. Ooh, we got some almond water. Am I supposed to hit that? <laughs> it made a weird sound when I did, brother. Okay, we found the elevator. So the elevator's near the monolith. That makes sense. I want to try to find more enemies, though, so we can get the rifle. I cannot miss the rifle. Ooh, that gets... Me Whoa. I don't know what to make of that, dude. I don't think I've ever seen a black monolith. I don't think I've ever seen any color monolith in the back rooms. I need some more enemies, though. I shouldn't have used... If I hadn't used that almond water essence... Or if I hadn't used essence to get almond water. Sorry, I had to focus. <laughs> if I hadn't used almond water or essence to get that almond water, it was like 600 and some. I would have enough right now. Please let there be more entities, please. Or let them respawn. I really want the rifle, dude. I really, I just, I need it in my, in my being. I need it. Shotgun ammo? Excuse me? Oh, dude. So there's a sniper rifle, there's a regular rifle, there's a shotgun. Oh, it's everything you could ever dream of. Like, you get one of the best arsenals in the back rooms ever. Hey, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's you, huh? Gotcha. Gotcha, you fuck. Oh, I'm only 80 away. Oh, my God. There has to be one more enemy, dude. One more little enemy running around. One more little dude. One more little guy. Where are you, little guy? Come here. I see. I see him. I see him. I knew there had to be one. Oh, yeah. We got the 4,000. Dude, I just got to find the rifle thing now. Okay. If we get back. Excuse me? What did you say to me? Huh? Okay. That's what I thought. You shut up now. Okay. There's the almond water. Somewhere... In this rough vicinity. Here it is. Here's the rifle. I knew it. Yeah. Ooh. That looks like an AK-47, dude. Spray and pray. Oh my god, guys. I literally am carrying an AK around the back rooms. This is so fucking cool. Okay, there are a couple of back room games with guns. And I think uh, I even played one, right? With IGP. You were still very much at the mercy of the entities and you were still very much underpowered i feel very powerful in this game i feel like as long as i'm not too stupid almost nothing can touch me and that makes me that makes me very happy it's just a nice change of pace you know if every backrooms game was like this it would be it, it wouldn't be it would be good it would be fun right it's the fact that this isn't done and it's a unique take although this game does feel really good oh hey what's up let's let's try this out Oh my God, dude. Yes, yes. Uh, that's a ringing endorsement from me. As the resident American, I will say, it doesn't get better than this. Although, you know, we need like an M4 or something. Then it would be better. 
an M4, an M6, you know? That would be good. All right, this saves. Hell yeah, dude. Level zero, finito. Is this level zero? I think the yellow rubes is level zero. Ooh! Stay above water. They are invisible. I don't have a I don't have a gash light, so how do I stay above water? They are invisible, huh? It's just car to car, right? Car to car. Car to car. Space bar to jump. Yep. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Stay above water. And then you can see them in the water, right? That's what I would assume. I need my hammer out. I need to smash and bash. Whoa. That's pretty cool. The physics on that. I uh, was okay. So they upped the fear factor here by making you less less strong in this level. Like there's not there's not much you can Nope. Don't you hit me. You fuck. No, 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 no. I'm gonna drink an almond water. You stay away. Okay, there we go. Did he hit me? Did I just not finish drinking the almond water? No. Okay. We gotta get to the booth. Ha <laughs> ha! Dumb bitch. Throw the hammer to lure it away. Electrical fuse for the gate control panel. Okay, good. Now, which way is the gate? That is the question. Go that way. Go that way, bitch. Is there anything over here? Nope. Nope, nope, no! Nope. Ah! I do not like this. I'm gonna tell you that right now, brother. Not a fan. This is all kinds of nope. He's gonna go over there. Then we're gonna do this. Yeah! We tricked your bitch ass, motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, 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 he's behind! I hate being chased, dude, especially by something I can't see. Like, what the, what the shit is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run, run, run! I do not recommend, I do not recommend! Oh, oh my god. I can't see! I can't see! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I almost died. I can't, I can't see. Wait until he gets further away and then make a bolt. Oh my god, I had to go around the corner. The, the deep, what a, what a devious fucking, de oh, that was so devious, dude. Knew what they were doing there, didn't they? Holy shite, brother. All right, the hammer's way away. That should buy me enough time. Ah, ah, ah! Fuck you. Fuck this shit. I'm going to get out of here. I don't like you. I don't like you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, yes. Percy, crouch. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. I need to bring the hammer back to me. I cannot see. I cannot see. I'm just walking forward in darkness. It's dark everywhere. How do I know if I'm going to the right space? How do I know? Are they still here? They've got to still be here, don't they? Is the elevator? I don't like this, dude. I don't... Uh, this is horrible. Okay, I see a light over there that looks like an exit, but there's also stuff over here. I don't know where to go for sure. There's a lot of cars in this area. So that's good. Maybe we'll just keep going straight this way and see what gets unveiled for us. This level is absolutely horrifying, though. Exit is that way. Okay. But I want to explore what's over here, brother. You know, I don't know what's over here. There could be some fun guns or something, dude. Woo! Look at me jumping across cars and shit. All right. The exit's this way, though. The exit is this way. We better just go to the exit. Oh my god, oh my god, you need stamina to jump. I mean, that makes sense, but I didn't think about it. That's terrible, dude. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Run. Exit, 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 exit. It says exit is this way. Can I break? I can still I can still break columns out of my way. Go that way. I think there are two. I think there are two. I think there are two. I don't like this. I'm a pro, I'm a pro, I'm a pro! And 
we did it. Well, kind of. I still gotta, I still gotta, we gotta hold, I gotta hold that to, oh, fuck, dude. Okay, go that way. Go as far away as possible. And then I gotta do this. No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Hey, hey, hey. There's no cars to stand on. Just get me the fuck out. Oh, we made it. Oh, dude. Why didn't he chase me to this part? Oh, hey. You are holding this weapon. Use two or three to switch. Okay, so there's a shotgun and a sniper rifle. That's the last one. Walls broken, zero. Enemies killed, one. Barrels exploded, zero. Hammer throws, 50. Bullet hits, zero. Level finished in 599 seconds. Final score, two. There's scores. Rank, 1,415. Oh, my God. This game is going to make me play it 700 times, isn't it? I did not expect there. I Did I not notice that in the first elevator? I guess I didn't notice that in the first elevator. I would have liked to have seen my score. I was just so happy to escape. <laughs> I, okay. That, I mean, that's pretty cool. This is going to be a speedrunner's dream. Maybe we'll have to try speedrunning this. I mean, technically, you don't have to get... You don't even have to get the guns, right? You don't have to run around and gather four. Although, I feel like they might be helpful in later levels. Level four offices. There can be anything. All right. Work offices, administrator offices, crunch room. They, they could be anything. And we're going to follow these. Oh, it, it goes through the wall. No fucking problem, dude. You know what? I have the answer to everything right here. What is that thing? What is that? What is that black goo thing? Did I kill it? I killed it. And I have one health left. Oh, okay. You can just go up to these and instead of flying them across the... I'm dead. Yeah! Oh, my God! Dude, chill the... I'm going to keep... Oh, my God, dude. What does this sign say? Elevator. They could be anything. What does that mean? So, can they be in, like, chairs? I think that means they could be items, right? So I have to be careful. Whoa, that explosion though, dude. Holy shit. I think we found the administrative offices. Where's the shotgun and sniper, dude, though? I want the shotgun and sniper. That's one of them. If it didn't break, okay. Woo, dude, explode in the barrels. They could be anything, right? So we gotta be careful. And I also need my rifle out. I don't trust this. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. I'm just gonna break everything. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. That one hurts. That one hurts. We just gotta rifle it. There we go. That's how you deal with those. You pull out the motherfucking rifle. I know how to deal with that. More bullets. Okay, 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 calm down. There's a, uh, uh, I'm reloading, I'm reloading. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. They're, they're coming after me. They're coming after me. They're sending their best. But their best isn't good enough. I bet you speedrunners are going to do it. Maybe, you know, you know, well, I want to try out different things. Maybe we'll learn to get good at this game and, and, and go for the world record. <laughs> I don't think I'm the type of person who would hold a world record at anything. Those two, uh, world record and skilly just don't mix. <laughs> this is so much fun, dude. I love just smashing shit. This is cathartic. This is like, don't they have those in real life? Like these break rooms that you can go to and you can pay? Like you could go to this place and they put you in this protective gear and give you like a welder's helmet or something. Not a welder's helmet, but they give you like one of those drop down helmets. Maybe like something you'd wear in paintball or whatever. And they just have a bunch of like dishes. And like, I think some of them have like car, like junk cars with windshields intact. And you could just like wail on everything and break as much as you want. Like get your anger out. I think there was a trend for a while. 
I'm sure people probably still do it. They would like go there after, you know, something bad in their life. Like a bad breakup or, you know, like you lose a loved one or something. You just go there and just smash shit because it's kind of cathartic. That's a good thing, right? An outlet for people. Although, do you want it to <laughs> do you want to teach people to, to break shit <laughs> when they have a problem? I don't know. I think it's a good thing. I don't we don't have any of those or at least I don't think we do. If we do, I don't know about it. We don't have any of those in my area or around me. I feel like it would just be fun just in general to try one out though but you know just to try one out try your luck for your blood trade 50 of your blood for five random items i don't even have 50 blood i gotta find there were two other office areas that i feel like i should look at something probably has the shoot to my gun oh type help and press enter to show console commands help enter ls list directory contents view file contents show this help text exit unlock elevator okay let's do show file contents right what do we got going on here usage cat file name dot text okay i'm gonna say file name dot text enter unknown command huh oh my god get out get out get out he's gonna kill me he's gonna kill me bust a cap dude I don't know what I'm doing. Every time there's a computer in a game and you're supposed to type like this, whether it be a lethal company or something else, I feel like I no longer know. I feel like I'm that old relative that asks you for help with computers because you're the tech savvy one in the family. And I have no, and I feel like all of my ability or my skill goes out the fucking window and I can't do anything. I don't know about you guys. File not found. Okay, unlock elevator. How about that? Uh, it requires a pin. Unlock one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, okay. We need to find the pin to unlock the elevator. That, I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh, it's unlocked. I unlocked it. I could totally get out of here. Well, we still want to explore. Somewhere in some level is the shoot to my gun and the sniper. And we need the shoot to my gun. We need it. You know what, you son of a bitch? You know what? Fuck you. I only have six health, dude. I really need health, too. Excuse me? What are you? You're new. No, no, no. It just... It, it looked different from the side. Okay. All right. Keep clear? Nah. Ooh, shoot to my gun ammo. Ooh, sniper ammo. A nice little couch to sit down on. Uh, I don't trust it. Sussy... They're, they're in the crates. What was that? Why was that... So loud. We got handgun ammo, rifle ammo, almond water that my brother had in almond water. He's dead though. And here is the shoot to my gun. It won't open. Okay, we need we need to unlock it somehow. All right, what does that say? C G Young, Carl Young. Is that Carl Young's book? Oh, I can break this wall. I can break every barrier down, dude. Uh, L S list directory contents. Why not? journal dot oh so you can read all of these i need to go back to that other terminal then okay and then journal dot text right oh my god there we go i actually learned how to do it date september 4th subject alchemic synthesis today i found an interesting book lying in these office rooms i delved into the depths of the psyche exploring the realms of jungian psychology through the sacred alchemic process as i sought the union of opposites i discovered the key to unlocking the hidden realms lies within the alchemic trifecta in the crucible of transformation where darkness gives way to illumination the sequence reveals the path to enlightenment embrace the shadow purify with the light and culminate in the fiery rebirth the convergence of these stages whispers the secret code to the attentive seeker let the sacred order guide you nar may the journey through the alchemic labyrinth unveil the hidden truth is the alchemic labyrinth the back rooms uh so this is redacted this is the albedo transformation entry the shadow process lays bare the shadows the albedo stage beckons the seeker to cleanse and purify the unearthed material like a blank canvas awaiting the artist's touch albedo is the phase of 
of illumination and clarity. To embark on this alchemic journey, the second step involves separating the impurities from the purified essence, symbolizing the distillation of the soul. Through introspection and conscious awareness, one can transmute the shadows into a luminous substance, revealing the true nature within. In the tapestry of Jungian psychology, albedo signifies the emergence of consciousness and self-awareness. It is the washing away of the darkness, leaving behind a pristine whiteness. The integration of opposites is crucial in this phase, where the consciousness and unconscious become harmonized. Embedded within this narrative is the digit six, a numerical echo of the transformative steps within the albedo process. Beto dream symbols include the moon anima symbol, attractive female witch or nymph, e.g. demon queen Lilith. What the hell is this talking about? Beto, I had already forgotten all the commands. That's how fast my brain moves. All right, the radiance of Rubido. In the fiery embrace of, Rub of Rubido, the alchemic journey reaches its zenith, marked by the central digit zero. So six and zero, we need to remember those. Those are important. This stage is a synthesis of purified elements, a transcendent union of the conscious and unconscious. As the alchemic fire burns brightly, the seeker experiences a profound integration. Transcending the duality of opposites, this stage signifies the blossoming of the soul, akin to the blooming of a red rose, symbolizing the fullness of individuation. Is that supposed to be individualization? Within the framework of Jungian psychology, Rubido represents the final alchemic process, where the union of opposites results in a state of wholeness. It is the culmination of the transformative journey, a rebirth marked by passion, vitality, and a deep connection to the self. Rubido dream symbols include the wise old man, Senex, old wizard, tree of life, quaternity, god entity, and Mandela. All right, let's read the last one, the shadow one, the spooky. Uh, all right, in the alchemic laboratory of the soul, the shadow process unfolds. I, can, I just can't say these words, so I'm just replacing them. Like uh, al albedo or whatever is, is light, right? And then rebirth is the other one. In the alchemic laboratory of the soul, the shadow process unfolds akin to the dark night of the soul. To create the black substance within, one must confront the shadows concealed in the recesses of the psyche. The first step is acknowledging the existence of the shadow self. The unconscious aspects of often ignored or suppressed. Allow the darkness to surface, a journey marked by introspection and self-reflection. As the shadows coalesce, the prima materia of the shadow emerges representing the raw, unrefined material of transformation. In the realm of Jungian psychology, the shadow process symbolizes the necessary confrontation with the unknown and the integration of the disavowed aspects of one's personality. It is a descent into the abyss, a descent that ultimately leads to rebirth. The alchemic blackness, though daunting, holds the promise of renewal and self-discovery. Within this text, the number two resonates with the steps of the shadow process a key digit in the alchemic journey towards individualization shadow dream symbols include spiders shadow figures and dark altar is that the monolith from the yellow rooms that we saw unlock safe unlock requires a three digit pin 602 uh unknown command must have three digits okay unlock Oh, you got to put them in order. So it's shadows and then this would be the center one. Okay, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. So first it would be shadows, right? Which it was uh, 602. So it'd be shadows, 60. There we go. Unlock. Yeah. Shadows, light, rebirth, right? And we have a shotgun. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can only carry two, right? You can change at the elevator. Oh, okay. I can't get rid of the pistol. It's either the shotgun or the rifle. Oh, dude. All right. I'll carry the shotgun for now because we want to see how it is. All right. I could use an almond water. I really could. I'm not going to lie. I could probably use two. The sniper might be in the other area around here. It could be in another level. But there were three lines on the floor when we entered, right? Even if it's not a gun, it might be something else. Oh my God, is the shotgun flipping powerful. Holy Shasta. Let's blow this guy up. Oh, dude. That is the type of firepower that I want anytime I enter the back rooms. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, buddy? Oh my God. 
Oh my god. I don't know what I just did to explode everything, but I did some. Hey, what's up, bud? Dra I have a dragon breath. Sh oh, the shotgun is explosive. I didn't realize. I didn't read. <laughs> the shotgun is explosive. I'm just going around blowing everything up. Oh, that's great. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey. Oh. How did I get dragon breath? Was it like, was it, it wasn't like that when I first got it, was it? So there's one more. Yeah, here we go. Here's the other office. We just got to make sure we do everything, right? This is the last place and then we'll head over to the elevator. All right. I don't like the green glowing thing there. Almond. <laughs> okay, am I alive? I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Everybody palm down. That where did that that thing I opened that box and there was an item and that thing didn't do the thing and the thing happened and then what? Ah! Oh my god, dude, stop. Are you happy? Well, I don't know what this is, but let's touch it. Okay. Apparently, it's just a green glowing orb. All right, we just need to find the elevator again, and we're gravy, baby. Hey, we found it. Before we do that, though, what does this have on it? What text does this have? LS, directory, manual, and shotgun. Okay, let's do that. All right, I can't believe I'm still alive. Every day in this place feels like an eternity, and today was no exception. My name is Adam Keymaker, and I'm an elevator technician by trade. I found myself stuck in these white offices a few weeks ago, and the only thing keeping me alive are the almond water vending machines. I'm afraid of the entities, so I avoid every object and just hack the machines. Today, I managed to get elevator 4A operational again. The rusty doors slid open, revealing the stale air in the elevator. In the dimly lit confines of the elevator, I stumbled upon a small note taped to the back of the control panel. It read, Debugging Console Pin 912. I couldn't believe my luck. Perhaps this code will help any future survivors out of this labyrinth. I pocketed the note, feeling a mix of hope and trepidation. The thought of escaping this place was tantalizing, but in here, hope is a dangerous thing. For now, I'll continue my journey through these hostile buzzing corridors, one flickering elevator at a time. The other one was shotgun. Okay, let's read that. Although I know how to use a shotgun. Point, pull trigger. The alchemist irritates me. I found his office a few rooms ahead of the entry elevator. He hid a shotgun in his closet, but I can't manage to find the pin code for it. I bet he hid the combination for it somewhere in his text notes. It was very easy to figure out, bro. We've already unlocked the elevator. 912 pin code. We need to remember that. Global rank 1,146, best score 532. Okay, 237 walls broken, 20 enemies killed. Uh, 238 walls? Why did it just change? Barrels exploded 10, hammer throws 125, bullet hits 77. Level finished in 494 seconds. All right, there we go. Yeah, another level down, another level broken. This is satisfying, dude. <gasps> the pool rooms, the pool rooms, dude. I need some almond waters. Give me some almond waters. We need to stack up. Can I break the walls in the pool rooms? Not quite yet. Oh, the lovely pool rooms. I've spent so much time here recently playing that other game. Oh, we can break shit. Oh, dude, this is, this is just, this is peak. Oh, I can't break these walls for some reason. Okay. All right. <gasps> that hurt. Okay, it only did four. Can I break that wall? Oh man, there's limits to my hammer? There can't be limits to my hammer. I gotta move on. We just gotta find our way out. Yeah, this is definitely a speed running game. What's over here though? I, I saw the, the way to go that way, but what's over here? Before we do that, yeah. Found some pistol? All right, yeah. It has a limit on its range. I mean, it makes sense. Let's get the fuck out, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, I went into the light. Why did it pull my gun out? I don't like that the game pulled my gun out for me. That one looked a little different, like slightly different. Hang on, ammo. Yeah, I can't break all the walls here. It just doesn't, my hammer doesn't even bounce off them per se. It just stops. Is this a dead end? No. Oh. Oh my god. 
Oh, the, it hurts. It burns. That's right. I forgot the chlorine in the pool rooms in the green water burns. Burn, baby, burn. Can't step in it. Gotta hop, hop, hop. Ah! Gotta get to the showers. Just this. <laughs> this is great. Oh no. Oh go. No. Oh no. Only some of the only some of the spaces though are tall enough or short enough for you to be able to jump on if you're not if you're in the water, right? Like I could jump up to the higher ones if I'm not in the water, but I can't jump up to them if I'm in the water. Like these I obviously see where we're supposed to go. I want to check out these side areas real quick though. See if there's anything to any of these. This is really cool though. This game, such a great idea. I can't see anything, dude. What happens if I go over to the dark, the light? There's a chair. I feel like I'm supposed to go over here. What is this? Uh, I could just go up here. What happens if I hit the radio? I can't hit the radio. Can I shoot it? Let me try to shoot it. Doesn't do anything. What's over here? There's a shoe. Why is there a random shoe, bro? All right, well, we know how to get out of here. Let's just get out of this. I, I'm I'm a little freaked out by this room. I'm not quite sure I can interpret what the hell is going on in this room. So I want out. There's another room back there. Let's see if we can't get all the way back there without hurting ourselves in the chlorine too much and figure out if there's anything going on back there. I'm starting to feel like I need to get out of here sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. I'm starting to have bad vibes, dude. Bad vibes. Vibes that I do not like having when I'm in the back rooms. It's a little bit harder to land on these platforms than maybe it initially looks. Okay. Oh, God damn it. No! Get in! Okay. Woo! I can't break the walls. I can break that. I'm surprised there hasn't been an entity in here yet. If I'm being honest. What is this? What is this? Found a phone. Found a phone. Objective updated? I found a phone? Oh, I have a light? Guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> Every time we've seen a dark space, I was like, I wish I had a light. On the right-hand side of the screen are all the controls just setting up there, and you can't get rid of those, and I never paid attention to them. Not once did my dumbass look over there. Is this right? Am I going right? Yeah, this is this is correct. I need more almond water, though, for sure. Sometimes the pool room is it, an even bigger maze than, like, the yellow rooms. Where are we? <laughs> You move so much slower in the water. Makes sense, but goddamn. <gasps> but did I find it? I think I found it. I think I found the way forward. Oh, salvation. Or an almond water machine. Either one. <laughs> ah! Jesus, dude. Wait. Oh, it looks like it looks it looks like I could have broke through that. I don't like the sounds of that. I don't like the sounds of that, bro. I do not like that. Multiple endless hallways. I feel like I should just go down. I feel like I should. Where's the sniper? I want the sniper. I want it. Might be somewhere else in the pool rooms, but we just need to get the fuck out. Oh, we're still here. We're still here. Oh, what is this? Phone interact. Missing explosive parts. You need C4 phone and cables. Oh, I need C4 to bust this open. My hammer's not going to do the trick. Okay. It makes sense too. If you look down in the bottom right, we have two open little inventory spaces next to the phone. We need three items to break out of here. So, okay. I found some spiral stairs up. This must lead to another one of the items. I would bet this area is going to lead to another of the items I need. Yep. Right over here. And then you can fall back down right there. I better not encounter any fucky wucky over here, dude. Cables and explosives. They are invisible. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to spin. I'm going to get some almond water. Because we're about to go down with the invisible guys. We're going to need to have our hammer out so we can throw it. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know how to get out of here, dude. I think I see it. I think I see it. No, I don't see it. Okay, we just need to hug the walls. 
right? We just need to hug the walls. Yes, 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 yes. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh. Okay, we got the cable. We got the cable. Oh, dude, I'm so glad I'm done with that area, though. I hear you. Oh, yeah. This is the showers, the bathrooms part of the pool rooms. Dude, sh ah! There's nothing in there's not one of the items isn't in here. I can't throw my hammer and hurt any of the Oh dude, you can break the toilets though. That's fucking satisfying, bro. Those break rooms we were talking about earlier where you could go and just smash shit, pay a fee and smash stuff. I think it's like old junk. I've heard that they get their stuff from like they purchase like in intact trash and stuff from landfills or like, you know, junk the cars from junkyards and stuff. But anyway, so it's not like they're breaking brand new shit. I, at least, I don't think so. Most of them aren't. But anyway, uh, I, this ceramic is one like, you know, toilets or like sinks like that or whatever that I think I've seen people universally say. If you've ever watched a video with someone doing it, they say ceramic is like one of the funnest things to just smash the hell out of. Of course, kids always wear protection because, uh... It could, it, you could have little shards and stuff flying at you. So, you know, try it. Don't try at home. At your own risk, whatever, all that jazz. You know what I mean? Do you guys think the back rooms are sentient? Like, does the back rooms know it's the back rooms? I mean, I know there are entities and stuff, but I mean, like, the actual levels and stuff themselves. Like, honestly, for the back rooms to, like, be this endless labyrinth and maze, there might be lore behind this, too. I don't know. You know, does it have a sentience of it of its own? Is it trying to keep people in? Is it constantly adjusting its its form so that you can't get out of it? You know, you know, you, you know what I mean? I kind of want to choose to believe that. I want to choose to believe that the back rooms is sentient, and anybody that visits it, the back rooms is just trying to keep it in, keep it there. You know. All right, here we go. Here's the here's the ending place, right? Let's get down here. There's a path off from this that we could probably take that we haven't done before. All right, so when we last came, we came from that way. When we last came in here, we went that that way. So let's go to the left instead. This hopefully will lead us to the last item, which is the explosives that we need. The C4 to make the C4 bomb to blow open the wall down there. And I'm assuming blowing open the wall gets us out of this place. Gets us out of the pool rooms. What is this, dude? Oh, it's an empty pool. And the thing is down there. Yo, this is straight creepy. This is creepy. I really like that they burst into, you know, this color stream. It's really cool. God, this place is a bucket of fuck. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I do not like this. This reminds me of where I take my kids to swim lessons, kind of. And that place creeps me out. That place feels very liminal. The uh, recreational facility where my wife and I take our kids to swim lessons feels very liminal space-like. It's not endless, but it just has that aesthetic and that vibe. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've played all these liminal space and or back rooms games with me or, or watch them at the least. All right, we have everything we need to fucking blow the shit and get the hell out. I could do that. Let's do this one time. Sacrifice 50 blood. Did it just say five random items? I didn't get five items. Shotgun ammo, rifle ammo, rifle ammo. I, you gypped me. I only got three items. Oh no, there we go. Rifle ammo. Almond water. Okay. All right. I mean, I'll take it. That's not That's not a terrible trade-off. That's okay. All right. Interact with. Stand back. Detonating. This is going to be beautiful. Woo! We need to go deeper. Break through. That's the achievement. I love that. All right. The elevator is right there. We have found our way out. Pool rooms down. God, I want the sniper rifle so bad. You know what would be nice? I don't know if this is the case. I might not have missed the sniper. It might be in, you know, the next level or whatever. But maybe not, because some of the weapons have been very specific with how they're unlocked, right? Like the shotgun has that terminal in the office rooms and you have to read the notes to get it. Oh no. It's a library room. We're here to find our strawberry shortcake. 
What do we got? Oh, we have all the we have all the vending machines here. How am I doing on ammo? I feel like I'm doing pretty good on ammo. I think I think we're good. Can I destroy shelves? I absolutely can destroy shelves. Okay. Can I destroy walls? No walls. Walls will not be destroyed. All right. What's our objective here is the question. Other than, well, I mean, get out, right? <laughs> That's the overarching objective is get the fuck out. Get the fuck out and kill everything? What is that, dude? The end is near? Oh my God! Excuse me? Dude! No! Oh my God, dude, he's big. He is big. No! Ah! Oh my gosh, it's time to rock out, dude! Let's do this shit, bro. He ain't got nothing on us. I need almond water. I need almond water, though. I mean, that's one thing he might have on us. I need... Okay. All right. We need almond water. We need almond water. We need almond water. All right. We're going to unload pistol first. Huh? You think you're a bad motherfucker? No way. I'm gonna, no, actually not pistol first shotgun. Fuck that shit, dude. This guy's going down. This guy's going down. Yeah. Huh? You want some? I don't think so, boy! That's right, God, it is so loud. Yeah! Oh, he's almost dead. We got him. I see his health bar. How about these apples, bitch? Yeah! Minotaurus. Theseus would be proud. Hell yeah, dude. We crushed it. That is what I am talking about, dude. Oh, that was so dope. I love how the music just kicks up. You hear the roar. You're coming over to the stairs. It says the end is near. And then it's just like balls. So it's like, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. That, that, you know, sometimes I know, it, I know it, it was, a little, it, it can be cheesy, you know, and it like that kind of stuff in action games and stuff is overdone but it reminded me of of the newer doom games in a sense right sometimes it's just fucking fun to just let loose rock out and just you know unload just endlessly shoot on stuff i mean all the levels leading up to right here and then that that whole little showdown or fight oh chef's kiss i don't know i don't even know if this is the end i'm just saying i really enjoyed that the end is near okay the question is where do i go like Honestly, like, where do I go? F to interact? Ooh, this does kind of feel like I made it out. I never found the sniper, though. Aww. Aww. That, that's... Aww. It's so quiet. Like, there's, like, almost zero background ambience here or anything. Hell yeah, dude. I'm so happy that we crushed that. Global rank 1,837. One okay. This game is going to be a speedrunner's dream, dude. We're actually getting out? Yeah, this is a cinematic. We made it? Huh. That's not English. What is that? Oh! oh! He broke the black monolith and then it clipped him out of the back room and he's fall. Oh no, we're falling. We're dead. Oh my God.
Whoa. Back rooms broken. <gasps> we broke the back rooms. We broke it. We broke the monolith at the center. The entity that... Oh, dude. I love that. That was so cool. Back rooms break. Created by Jan Jellic. I'm butchering that probably. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> this is exactly what I would do if I created a game. Created by programmers, game design. I love it. Okay. There were, you had a 3D artist who helped you in character model. That's awesome. So essentially, two, three, some people helped with music and sound. There's some voice cast. Okay. Oh, this is dope. You had some game test. This is awesome. Translation help. Oh, it's available in other languages. That's great. I really enjoyed this. Honestly, honestly, just because of the unique idea, this might be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, solo single player backrooms game. Really, seriously. Dad for recording the guitar songs. Oh, his mom and dad helped out? That is so dope, dude. This is really cool. So I do know that there's an update coming to this. When you're on the main menu, I'll show you guys here. When you're on the main menu, it says there's an endless mode coming, which is pretty cool. So basically, I think you could just wander around and break the rooms or whatever, right? Yeah, endless mode coming May 25th. Unlocks after finishing the game. Comes in update version 1.1 in May. So that's cool. Uh, I want to see more levels. I, there, I appreciate the fact that there is an ending to this and that there's a clear progression and everything. But this was fantastic. This was really well done, really well polished for what essentially amounts to a single dev because he programmed it, did everything. He just got help with some of the monsters and the music and the audio and stuff, right? I want more added though. I hope that you stick with this, dude. I don't know that you'll see this video, but I hope you stick with this because this was awesome. Super well done, so on the backroom genre that's been flooded with games recently. I really appreciate it when someone takes something that's popular, but they make it their own. And this was that 100%. I highly encourage you if you want to check it out, it is on sale right now on Steam. It's backroom's break. It's under $10. Throw your support behind this dev because I want to see more of this. This is really awesome. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.